my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Now, I want to start this whole video off with this the baby situation because obviously the baby is under a lot of heat for a comment that he made during his Rolling Loud performance. Um, but first, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload. So yes, like I said, the baby made a very controversial statement during his Rolling Loud performance. Now, if you guys know, you know I can't say exactly what he said um but basically to kind of get around what he said he said if you didn't come with any diseases put a light in the air and it kind of seemed like it was pointed towards the community even if that's not what he meant it definitely offended them now if you guys want to see his performance or that specific clip make sure you go over to my instagram at room for tea with two a's at the end and follow me there and check out the video now after the baby said this in his rolling loud performance and after this video was put out on social media a lot of people were upset even some celebrities and influencers and the first celebrity or influencer that i seen respond to this was ts madison and she wrote to her twitter and she actually tagged the baby and she said what was the reason do you know how many blanks truly buy and stream your music and do you know the amount of people who are living with you know what that you can came for for nothing then the blanks break their necks to be at events like that to be completely disrespected now there was a lot more backlash than this but i was just reading ts madison's because i feel like she definitely had a point in there um after the baby seen that he was getting a lot of backlash the other day that's when he posted to his insta story basically trying to explain himself and sorry to say he definitely made the situation worse now he basically said that there was a guy in the front row and he had a crop top on and he was right with him he was jamming with him and that his fans actually know what he means none of his fans actually have that disease because they are not allegedly raggedy uh, hoe or just passed around and i'm just like come on like we definitely have to educate ourselves because you know, anybody who knows about that stuff knows that you didn't even have to be a HOE. That could have been your first time. You didn't have to be dirty to get that. You know what I'm saying? So for him to say that, it just kind of even more showed his true colors. Now, T.I. was somebody who tried to stand up for him. He actually wrote under the Shade Room's post and he was like, if Lil Nas X can kick his stuff in peace, the baby should be able to as well. Tory Lanez also decided to try to stick up for his friend, the baby as well. And he posted to his Twitter and said, cancel culture does not exist. It's just a small group of people on Twitter tweeting at the same time. And he said a bunch of you know what? mf2 now basically you know i'm gonna say it like this like tory lanes i don't think that he should be you know saying anything right now i mean i understand that he wants to stick up for his friend the baby but a lot of people are still upset at tory lanes and a lot of people feel like tory lanes is still canceled after that situation that happened with Megan Thee Stallion. And I'm not saying that that situation is true. I'm just being honest. You know, Tory Lanez has lost a lot of fans since that situation. I'm not saying that he doesn't have the right to speak. But on this specific situation, I'm just like, okay, Tory Lanez, maybe you should sit this one out. And as for what T.I. said, now definitely in my opinion, I feel like the baby has the right to have his own thoughts and opinions and believe what he wants to believe but the whole problem with this situation is just like one where did this come from like why did he even bring it up and then second of all when you are talking on certain situations especially what he was talking about on the stage you guys know what i'm talking about you definitely have to be educated or you just don't say anything at all it's like that one saying if you don't have anything nice to say you just don't say it at all but what i got from his video that he made and what 
what he was saying on his Insta story is that he was trying to say as much stuff as possible that he didn't feel like his fans had or, you know, that he thought that his fans would cheer about or put their phones in the air about. If you guys kind of understand what I'm saying, he was basically trying to get his fans attention as much as he could. And it was just a very bad way to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think he actually thought about what he was saying when he said it. Now, I know you guys know the song by Dua Lipa called Levitating that's basically like, I need you. And it's basically on every radio station. That song is definitely starting to grow on me. Like, it's definitely a hit. But like I said, it is featuring the baby. And Dua Lipa, who is actually the main artist on this song, decided to speak out about what the baby said at Rolling Loud due to her, you know, recently collapsing with the baby now this has gotten so bad and people are canceling the baby so bad that people who have worked with him have to speak out and let their fans know that they don't stand for the same thing that he stands for she basically posted to her insta story and she said i'm surprised and at the baby's comment i really don't recognize this as the person that i worked with i know my fans know where my heart lies and that i stand a hundred percent with the blank community we need to come together to fight the stigma and ignorance around you know what now like i said this has gotten this bad to where people who have worked with the baby have to actually speak out and defend themselves against their fans who are mad at them for working with the baby even though the baby is a different person you know what i'm saying these two just decided to collab on a song probably never talked to each other again after they collabed on the song but i'm just basically letting you guys know this is how big this situation really is and really got now the baby decided to respond again today just a couple of minutes ago you know what i'm saying to this situation because like i said this is just how big this situation has gotten and he posted to his twitter and he said anybody who done ever been affected by you know what y'all got the right to be upset what i said was insensitive even though i have no intentions on offending anybody so my apologies but to the blank community community i ain't tripping on y'all do you y'all business is y'all's business and i guess that is the baby's apology i definitely feel like a lot of fans feel like the baby definitely showed his true colors during his performance and he is definitely saying that he didn't mean it the way that people took it but, you know, a lot of people are just not having it. They just feel like he is canceled. But as always, my lovely TTs, I want to know you guys' opinion about this situation. Do you feel like the baby had ill intentions? Or do you feel like, you know what I'm saying, he just said the wrong thing at the wrong time or he just said the wrong thing period y'all let me know in the comments below last but not least guys sadly it seems like nba young boy is not having any luck with getting out of jail anytime soon because news came out today that his appeal was denied so basically he has to stay behind bars until his trial which is super sad i know a lot of his fans are upset because they just miss him they want him to be out and they want him him to release new music so good luck and god bless and be a young boy you know hopefully everything works out well for him but anyways you guys definitely let me know what you feel about these two situations in my comments below once again my lovely tts thank you for watching room for tea make sure you follow me on instagram at room for tea with two a's at the end like comment and subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time i upload and i will see you in the next what video.